Hi guys, to another tutorial by Madison Studios and today we're going to be going through the Adobe Lens Profile Creator. Now this is the image that we're going to be working with, a nice one from a recent London trip. It's not had the colours brought out or the sky enhanced or anything just yet. But if you go to filter lens correction, you'll notice I've got my camera make which is a Fujifilm. The camera model is the FinePix S2950 and unfortunately it's not got one of those interchangeable uh, lenses so it's just the standard Fujinon 18x optical lens. What I really like about this lens correction though is this feature that I'm just using here where it straightens everything up because I've noticed that I just loves symmetry and everything. Um, and so you can also adjust the grid to make sure everything lines up really nicely. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to teach you today how to actually create that profile for your specific camera. As you have got all these professional profiles that you can download from the Adobe website. But I didn't have any for the S2950. Anyway, when you download it. I've saved the uh, the file in the lens profile creator underscore p4 and it's such a small file you you don't even have to install it you literally double click it and it fires up now usually you'd go to new project but the screen that we're looking at already is a project so all we have to do is add images to project now these are the calibration chart images and the lens profile creator has chosen four that it feels um, is going to be best to create the profile with. Now you must always put in this lens name because otherwise it just throws up like a little bit of a warning. Now where do we get this information from? The 41, 63 and the print dimensions of 36. Well, the calibration charts do actually come with the download. So what I've done is I've actually gone to a print shop, got this printed onto an A1 and all the information is here as is highlighted on the screen. 41 by 63 and the square print dimension is 36. But you've also got the screen dimensions, open bracket pixels. By using that little ruler, you can set that automatically to 49 when you take a measurement of it. Again, it's just making sure everything is as precise as it can be. Once you're happy with all of that, you simply press generate profiles. Now, something I will say is this is a bit of a long winded um, tutorial and I do apologize because I was going to cut this section out and I thought well no if I was in your position or anybody else's it's say taking 20 minutes or whatever and I don't know if that's correct at least by you seeing the full process you'll be able to better uh, identify with it so just going to stick myself on mute because you don't want to hear me talking for ages all right
Okay, once the um, program has worked its way through creating all the profiles that it needs, if I was you, I would save it in its default setting. As when we go back into Photoshop, it actually looks directly at that folder. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to call this the FinePix S2950 tutorial example. We're going to save that and then we're going to close it down. Now back in Photoshop, go to lens correction again, work our way through camera model S2950. But hold on a second, we've still only got two options. That's because Photoshop hasn't registered that there's another one been involved or recently been input into the folder. So sometimes with these programs you have to shut them down, start them again. So we'll just wait for this to load up and then we'll go to open and we'll open the recent image and we'll go to filter lens correction and again work our way through but also notice what it's doing here. It's updating the Lens Profiles database. It is now reading what is in that folder and it's saying, hold on, there's a change here. And then it's bringing that, incorporating it into Photoshop so that when you go to the Lens Correction filter again, you will see, hopefully, if I've done my job right, three Lens Profiles. So we've got our camera make, Fujifilm, FinePix S2950, and now we've got a lens model of three, way 18 times, and then we've got the uh, 100 times, so on and so forth. Now this, the lens model would be brilliant if you had a camera that you could change the lenses on under your, say, Lumi digital camera, you could have about 10 different lenses or whatever. So again, you apply the correct lens profile, you straighten it up, you make sure it's symmetrical and gorgeous. And then when you're happy with it, you go to OK. And now it's removed any vignetting, any geometric distortions and any distortions from the lens. So I hope you found that really helpful, guys. And uh, thank you for your patience. Over and out.